This right here. Fish on. Fish Rick. on. Turn it on. Yeah, just what we said. Surged off the bottom and caught one. Well, I just set this three ounce right down to the bottom. <laughs> At 45 yeah. back. 45 back all the way to the bottom. Yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's classic. <laughs> we screwed everything up. Everything dropped to the bottom. Nice fish, Brian. It is a nice one. It's a very nice one. And as soon as everything came off the bottom. He's wanting to hide underneath the boat, John. <laughs> there we go. Hold that up, Bri. Look at that. He's off in the net. Awesome. Awesome. Maybe we have to go slower. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we have to drop everything to the bottom. First hey, everybody. One of the day. John Bergsman here with Brian Nye, a couple of Brian, <laughs> Brian Nye, no, Brian Nye is my best friend, <laughs> Brian Beist. We're here on Mullet Lake up in Sheboygan. We're invading Brian and his guys' uh, vacation. We just set up. It's early morning. Awesome, awesome fish. Hey, if you're looking for an awesome adventure at the end of the show, two be caught charters right on the hat, buddy. We'll get you on fish. That's right. We'll keep that one though, because the, the wives will never let Brian throw these back. No. You got fish, holy cow. Yeah, it does. Get some board. Oh yeah, oh, yeah baby. Oh, that's a, that's a line stretch. Here you John. go. You up? All right. You guys. I even know what a bite looks like. <laughs> First time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> I love that comeback. So hey guys, what we're doing while Brian wrangles this fish and we just lost a nice one on the outside on the other one too. Might have been the northern because it cut Brian off clean, but I was looking at those boards, and if you take a look at the boards, we're going so slow, 1.2, that sometimes just a board attitude change, like the butt being down, can be the only indicator you have of a bite. It's not gonna yank it back like a Lake Erie six or seven pounder. That's not the way it works when you're inland lake trolling at slow speeds with one. these uh, death rigs. They're just really gonna just change the attitude of your board, maybe pull it back a foot or so, but really, that's about it. I'll get out of the way. Let Brian show you why he brings clients here to Mullet Lake because this inland lake fishing isn't fast and furious necessarily like, you know, Saginaw Bay 30 fish days. But what it is, is it's awesome in the taste, Brian. These fish taste better than practically these, any fish, correct? Yes, these are the best tasting walleyes that you will find. We got the cold water, it's clean. They're, they're inland lake. They're beautiful fish. Oh yeah. Man. I mean, they get, you come and get six, eight of these in a day, that's actually a fantastic it's day a on the day. water. Yeah, yeah. and that's exactly. what most people want. They want enough for a meal. Exactly. Well, we're gonna work your way to your wife's meal. Yep. <laughs> I'm not taking these today because we're on a filming mission this week. We're gonna go uh, here, Brian will show you that fish. That's a really, really nice, nice inland lake walleye. Beautiful, beautiful fish, Brian. That is. I really just wanted to see the one that got broke off. <laughs> so did Bry, because I have a feeling it was one of those class fish. Having fun early here on mullet. You think that bugger's been living in the weeds? Oh my gosh, did you see the color of his? Oh. No, I'm just bringing it back to check this one. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, if that's a fish, that's a big one. <laughs> that bugger floated. Did you notice we got four guys in the back of the boat today working? That's because you have to have enough guys when you're fishing this way because you really have to check rods every 15 minutes or so. You have to be fishing. Yeah. Because when you're live bait fishing. We got a fish on right there. Fish on right there. I uh, just let go. I'll drop back to him maybe. 
freewheel it, yep. yep. What Brian's doing now is freewheeling it. Uh, because sometimes a fish will grab a bottom bouncer rod, and if you let the bouncer back to them, they'll come back and actually hit it. It's another keeper. Feels like a good one. I'm gonna move this thing just so we don't trip over it. Oh yeah, nice one. Mullet Lake? Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> this is crazy. We're out here, not even in the prime spot. We're right now practically exploring because we just went through. Go ahead and pull it right up there and show them that rig right in the mouth. That's what we got right there, just a little slow death, single hook slow death rig, a little butterfly blade. We've also got some, it looks like a smile blade max. on one of them, yep. a max, max smile blade. So there's a lot of different rigs you can use uh, for that type of stuff. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Angler Quest, built with purpose. Trax Tech, the ultimate fishing system. Strike King, tie one on. Garmin. WavePro high performance boat pedestals eliminate bottoming out and back jarring impacts. Now available the 2.0 version and slider seat hubs. The best in air shock technology provides a controlled return to keep you on your seat. Fast and easy to install with permanent mounts or movable hubs for quick and easy seat placement in 10 to 16 inch models. WavePro high performance boat pedestals best ride on the water online at waveproshock.com. Inside. inside board, inside board here. Oh. This one, big fish. There you go, you, you catch it. We'll net it. Brian's netting. He's got one, Oh, bitch. that's a big one. That's the captain part right there. Yeah. So guys, when you're fighting these fish, these inland lake fish, it's really, really critical to, uh, to have these long rods. Bry uses like eight and a half foot rods, and I typically am not a fan of the big long rod, but when you're fighting these fish, as Brett will show you, these fish, these fish dive Bingo. really, really well. And I'll tell you what, Bry, the quality today is there, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, these fish are so solid. You grab them and they, they're just firm, nice, healthy fish. What we're on right now is a crayfish bite. These fish, the mayfly hatch quit about the end of June and uh, we were fishing suspended. Now they're all on the bottom, it's a crayfish bite and they are just full of them too. When you clean them, you'll, you'll have crayfish coming out of them. It's, they're, they're eating a lot. Beautiful. And what Brian means by crayfish bite is everything we're fishing today is within a foot or two of the bottom, period. Everything, we have the same sets. We probably got eight rods out right now. Every single one of those rods is set exactly the same to be within either on the bottom or within a foot of the bottom. When we set them on boards, we might shorten it up just a titch or pick the speed up on a turn. But Brian just caught the second fish there on a pause, meaning he accidentally hit the prop button. The boat stopped just momentarily, turned it back on, boom, that inside board sunk. That's the yep. second time that's happened. Second time it's happened. It happened on the front one here too uh, on the pause. And uh, there it is. Oh. We got another one on that bouncer. Well, either that or it hung, hung up the bottom. I kind of thought it, it was getting a bite, John. What? I think it was getting. Yeah, I know. I, I saw the rod tip dip. But that's really good action. And what we've got is some of these, uh, some of these are in our just flat, flat tracks text cradle holder we have right here. Now this cradle holder goes right in your bow rail. And what we like to do is we like to set not only bow bottom bouncers, but rear bottom bouncers, and then you can spread boards in between those four. But there's times, especially like Bryce said on that crayfish bite, you gotta make sure you've got some rods that don't have boards on it, where you can just really manipulate the leads out to make sure you're just ticking perfectly. And those, those are the rods that catch a lot of fish on certain days. He did not get off. There's a keeper. There's a nice yep, nice fish. Scoop the yeah. right in. <laughs> Brian will show you that one and then. Hey, look at that, Johnny. 
Well, we're oh. going to show you this. So that fish yeah. came on the Walleye Nation Creation Slow Death. Uh, we uh, decided to start putting some of those out and uh, that wasn't out for very long at all. But Brian's going to stop a minute, show you this fish and talk about his guide service and how you can get involved. Yeah, so if you guys want to get out on Malt Lake, I do 15 different lakes in Michigan. Uh, I start my season in April on Detroit River and I kind of work my way north. Start fishing the northern lakes, Mullet, Leelanau, uh, come right after the Mayfly hatch, which is usually in July. So if you guys want to get up here, I'll fish from now until uh, the end of October and the fishing will get better as the fall goes on. You can find me on Facebook, my website, tobecaught.com. But check it out if you guys want to get up on beautiful northern Michigan and get on some walleyes. Brian also can take you fishing in Muskegon and yeah. Traverse City, lots of different lakes, White Lake, Nuego County, tons of stuff. Trust me, it's worth your time. Yep. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Offshore Tackle Products, FlowFast, world's leading portable fluid transfer system, Drato, catch and release boat system. We all want to keep moving and we all need fuel to do it. Now, with the revolutionary Flow Fast system, you can fuel up and keep moving from literally anywhere. Flow Fast will pump or siphon an amazing eight gallons per minute so you can get back to what you do best. To find out more about Flow Fast, go to flowfast.com. Flow Fast, fuel up, keep moving. Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-Hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch, online at doradoproducts.com. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Polarcraft, the toughest built aluminum boats, bar none. Dreamweaver, home of the revolutionary spin doctor. Lose, feel the difference. Wave Pro, best ride on the water. So what we're doing today is there's basically there's two companies that we really um, like their their uh, slow death setups. Um, the Northland Butterfly Butterfly Blade with the Super Death Rig um, is probably my number one go-to uh, in the purple color or the golds. Those this one right here is probably one of my my most favorite. Let's start over, Brett. I screwed that up. I'm not as good as John yet. Yeah. So we're up on Mullet Lake, and I say Mullet Lake, but I use these these uh, two rigs here, the Walleye Nation Creation um, Double Trouble Hook. It's a slow death rig, and it's got a little a little trouble hook on there. Uh, but that death rig right there, it's, it's got a big enough bend in it, I can run a full crawler, and it will still spin the worm. The other one is a Northland Butterfly Blade. Uh, they call it the Super Death Rig. I, I like this bait uh, a lot. It comes in purples, uh, golds. I don't really care what color it is. I mostly care about the action. Uh, the slow death rig or the super death rig, it kind of originated out in the Midwest, but it's something I use on all the bodies of water that I guide on. I will even use it on Lake Erie, Saginaw Bay. Pretty much works every, everywhere, but these two companies right here have a great product and they, they put fish in the boat. You guys can see it today that they work really well. You can run it behind an inline weight, suspend it, or you can run it on a bottom bouncer. It doesn't really matter. Uh, John put this here on. It's got a nice floater on it, the Walleye Nation Creation one. It kept that bait up off the bottom. We had a lot less weeds with it. Um, where the Northland one, we we're, we're still, still running it on bottom bouncers, but you gotta kinda suspend that, that weight up off the bottom so it stays out of the weeds just a little bit. So. Both great products. I suggest that you guys would try them. 
Um, they work really well. Check them out. And I got one on the wall in Nation Creation right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the walleye nation creation <laughs> let me have that fish i'll show it off we're taking on i gotta get you off this you get me off this line once we get off this line we're gonna be okay okay hang on of course no this one this one came and tried to nip it We'll show you just what we're talking about here. So this is the Walleye Nation creation rig that I've been using a, somewhat on just one rod today and it's caught three really nice fish and now this one. And this one, I'll try to hold it properly. This one, he missed the trouble, but of course you got this great big slow death harness hook on it. And uh, that board barely moved just a little bit and uh, we noticed it, but there you get a perfect example. You can catch them on either the little treble or you can catch them right there on the, on the big hook. Little floater helps uh, counter out the weight of the two hooks and it just is a spinner. It's almost like a spinning glow, but I really like this because it's super subtle and it can spin at super slow speeds. Love this rig. You know, the Indian River area is an awesome place to fish. The two primary lakes that feed the tourism of the Indian River are Burt Lake and Mullet Lake, and of course the inland waterway itself. But also Crooked Lake uh, also feeds through the in inland waterway, and that's an awesome opportunity. Today we chose to fish Mullet Lake. Now Mullet Lake is an absolute mecca for fishermen. It offers a diverse fishery of walleye, smallmouth bass, perch, and also steelhead in the month of September and all season long if you're a steelhead aficionado. Uh, one of the cool things about the Mullet Lake aspect is that this is a year-round fishery on Mullet Lake. Uh, it offers some awesome ice fishing. So visitors to Indian River really have access to Crooked Lake, the Inland Waterway, Burt Lake, the Inland Waterway, and then on to Mullet Lake, and then you could continue on right out onto Lake Huron. So it's a really cool experience. Now, if you're coming up here, I would say the fishing season really gets going in earnest in early May with the preseason smallmouth catch and release season. All summer long, it offers awesome opportunities for perch, walleye, smallmouth bass, even largemouth bass. And then in the fall again, all the way through October, awesome fishing. So if you're planning a trip to Northern Michigan and you haven't stopped at Indian River, put Indian River on your bucket list of places to fish because it is awesome fishing as you saw from today's show. Closed captioning is brought to you by WavePro. Best ride on the water. Online at waveproshock.com.